everyone uh it's a pleasure to be with you again on this channel the esteemed woman i'm here to intimate us and to talk with uh, to us uh with this topic that is called uh, gratitude. I came across this saying in one of the books that I read recently. Uh, it says, thankfulness is the beginning of gratitude. And gratitude is the completion of thankfulness. It makes, it further says, thankfulness may consist of merely uh, words, spoken words, but gratitude is shown in acts is shown in acts. Uh, the, the dictionary definition of gratitude says the quality of being thankful, the readiness to show your, your, your sense of thankfulness. And uh, it, when, you, when we hear gratitude, we talk about our sense of gratefulness, our sense of thankfulness, our sense of appreciation to one another, to things around us, even to God himself. You want to ask me who, sh who should give at, uh, gratitude? In all of us, men and women, young and old, me and you, our sense of gratitude should be at a platform whereby when we see it, we know it comes from the heart. It's not just something that comes from the lips. Because when you, sh when, when you show it, you give it. And uh, uh, when me and you cultivate this spirit of gratitude, it helps us to be in, in good relationship. Uh, husbands and wife give gratitude to each other, appreciate each other. Husband, show it, show your wife how much you appreciated her every day, every minute, not only because she's celebrating, a birthday every minute just be in that uh, uh, attitude just be filled with thanksgiving let nothing come in between you and your thankfulness sense uh, sensories even the wife too we the wife we women we take many things for granted we take our husbands for granted that it is their duty to always say i think thank you darling thank you honey no let's reciprocate even with saying it and we showing it but when both uh, spouses get uh, get to that level of every minute's gratitude to one another it makes the marriage to be strengthened why not give gratitude to god for your children both spouse appreciate god for your children on what they have achieved and on what they are yet achieved uh, even Bible makes us to do, to know that uh, our children only oh, it likens them to like arrows in the hand of the warrior are the children born in in one's youth. Blessed is a man whose quiver is full of them. God gives us these children for 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 as a gift and we need to be appreciative of every bit of what they do and what they achieve even the children too are not left out to be to show gratitude to their parents gratitude to their families gratitude to everything that god have uh, surrounded them, them with we appreciate ourselves we appreciate our families we appreciate our extended families too because if anything happens to them or, or we too will not be in good mood will not be in good uh, 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 spirit we appreciate the church the fellowship of with one another appreciate the helpless give uh, give gratitude to 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 god even for giving them unto us giving them putting them around us because there's a reason why they are there for us to give a helping hand. The widows around us, the uh, seniors around us, everybody, let's cultivate this habit. And as I said earlier, I, I love that our gratitude spirit becomes a lifestyle that we do every day, every minute. How do we show gratitude? God, God did it for us. He laid it the, the example. Bible says in John 3, 16, 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He showed the love I showed the love he has for mankind, even among the Israelites. Every man and then the Israelites eared away from these principles and the commandments of God. He still, he still showed them that he loves them. He shows them that they are apple in his eyes. And after, afterwards, he gave his only begotten son. Why not? When we show, let's give. When we show, let's give. Then when we show, let's give. And I want to emphasize on that. We always want to show. We don't want to give. Uh, don't let it be only on our special days. Don't let it be only in New, uh, in new Year. In everything culminated into the times that we need to remember to give gratitude unto one another all the time. I want to round this up by letting us know that even the Bible makes us to know that we should rejoice always. First Thessalonians uh, chapter 5 verse 16 to 18. It says, pray without season. In everything, give thanks. Don't let it be limited to only when we achieve success. Even that of our failure, God wants us to see some lessons. God wants us to know and open our eyes of understanding to see how best to do some things that will lead on to success. Even when we are down, let's remember to give gratitude to God. No wonder David has told the heart of God. The Bible says he's a man after God's heart. After God's heart, he knows the route to go. He knows how to enter God's uh, presence. Even when he's down, even when he's up, in his merry time, he never, he never shack in giving out his gratitude. When he conquers war, he gives gratitude. When he goes through trials, you hear him giving thanks unto God. And who am I and you to forget about this? Even nothing comes in between his gratitude, uh, showing his gratitude. Not even his wife, you can imagine. Not even his wife could be between his sense of gratitude. That shows his lifestyle was always with the spirit of gratitude. Don't let uh, us forget that gratitude is the key of the world today. If you love this video, give your comment. This is not a monologue channel, it's a, it's a dialogue channel. Give your comment. This is a way to let me know you are there for me and I'm here for you. Uh, also, I want you to use some of your precious time, which I know is so precious, to share this video. Share it among your friends, talk about it, uh, leave comments, and a uh, 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 fraction of your time for me, I will really appreciate. Uh, and I want you to subscribe this to this video and leave comments so that I will know what other topics that you want us to talk about. At Esteemed Woman, we are in the heart of building ourselves. We are in the art of uplifting ourselves. And we are in the art of empowering our steps to step beyond the limits. That is why it takes two to make a, a two flints to make a fire. Building a woman equals building a nation. Join us on Facebook. Join us on Twitter. Join us on LinkedIn, Instagram. And don't forget, visit our website, lilyinhishands.com. www.lilyinhishands.com. And that is for esteemed woman. I will celebrate you.